Hey everyone, I'm Kate Kennedy and I'm here with day 43 of 100 Days of Cane PA. And today we talk with Tom and Levi Habeberger about what it means to them to be in a family business together and how it's actually uh, created a really strong bond and helped them out during a time of trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and we're gonna talk to you Tom and Levi. Hello guys. Hi. How's it going? Good. How about you? Good. Thank you so much for having us. We'll start with oh, you, Tom. Thank you. Yes. So, Tom, you were born and raised in Kane. I was. I was born. We lived on Sedgwick Street. Actually, it's where Fred's Barber Shop is now. Is where I grew up for my first three years. And then we moved out to Highland Road. All right, and that was a family home, right? Yes. Yes. My grandparents lived there, and then when their new home got finished. They moved in there and mom and dad moved to our old homestead. All right. And you, you graduated from Kane High School? I did back in 1985. And what kind of um, track did you study in high school? Um, I was a vocational student. Um, did a lot of hands-on electrical work, small gas engines, uh, welding, um, just stuff like that. Who were the teachers in the had, um, Votech? Mr. Bierbauer and Mr. Fritz were our teachers. And then Mr. Dietrich was just a substitute teacher then. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So 85 you graduated yes. from Kane High School. Something else significant happened in 1985. We had the tornado right before graduation. Yeah, so you were that class. I was that class and I had to leave shortly after that to go to the military. Wow. So before I left for the military, we still hadn't had gas turned on and it was taking cold showers wow so. what a what a hard time to leave you know your town's kind of going through this really traumatic thing yes. and, and there you are going off to serve serve your country yes and wow. with one of my best friends missing you know we lost Dawn so yeah yeah what a, a, a tough time but um, you went to the, the Navy Mm -hmm. um, and eventually made your way back home. And we'll talk about that in a yes. minute, but I want to say hi to Levi. Hello. Hi, and Levi, you did not grow up in Kane. No, I did not. But I, you live here now. Yep, I moved to Kane about three years ago. Bought a house on Oak Street, so. And you guys are father and son. Correct. <laughs> and so we kind of mentioned that you were um, in the military, then you had some jobs out of town, so you weren't really around a lot when Levi was was little right I was an over the road truck driver and it was hard telling when I was gonna get back home again so when he was 12 I decided to come back home and I went to work for Derek over at custom built uh -huh. and was able to be with Levi for a while and now you're together every single day yes <laughs> <laughs> okay so you um, bought this sanitation business in mm -hmm. what year it was five years ago that I was offered the opportunity to purchase it and it will be five years in February when everything was official and the bank officially owned me <laughs> so so five years ago um, and it's a family business right everyone who works here is family it is it is starting with my mom and my aunt who do all of the pay um, whenever we get a payment it goes to them they keep double books so that they can double check everything and my fiance runs the office, runs the new starts. Um, her cousin is actually one of our drivers. Her daughters, Shelby, does a great job on the computer. Kennedy and Liberty and Kennedy's boyfriend have all come in to offer help for whatever reason that may be. Mm -hmm. And uh, my sister, she does our like merchandising and stuff, like shirts. If we have mm -hmm. a shirt order, she does that. And then uh, Levi's our newest driver that we have. Awesome. So Levi, when did you start working here? I started working when I was still in high school uh -huh. and I graduated from Smithport in 2016. So I've been here for, since about 2016 um, and really started putting a lot of hours in about March. Okay. I got my CDL. Okay. Congratulations on that. That's Thank a you. big step. So for about the last three years you've been working here. Yep. Um, and we talked earlier that there was a time that you kind of had some trouble and really um, you were able to come back into the family business after that. Do you want to talk at all about that? Yeah, and I th believe it was 2017 um, I got arrested. Um, I spent seven months in jail and I got out of jail and that's when 
about two months after that I bought a house um, and I really put my head straight for my daughter and also my dad in the business um, stay out of trouble it really was a wake-up call for yep, you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And you um, were able to give him a, another chance. Yes. So yes. you were talking too about how, like, when he was in, in prison for a while, um, you really showed some tough love. Do you want to share about that? Yes. Uh, he was eligible for work release, and everybody was thinking he was going to get out and come to work every day, and that was not the case. And I know he was upset, but. He had to withstand the punishment. So, yeah, and you guys talked every day still? Yes, we did. He'd call, um, usually every night. Yeah. And uh, he made it through that. And I decided to hire him back again. And it was a great thing. So that's 2017, so the last two years. Yes, he's been it's here. Been great. Mm -hmm. And you were saying, um, like, when you got out and you started back to work, uh, how, did you get any time off, or how'd that go? No. Well, <laughs> I got out of jail, and I may have had one day off, and then it was right back to work. Um, <laughs> I was talking to him about working, and he wasn't too sure, but eventually he did say, you know, you can't come back, so I've been back ever since. Don't plan on going anywhere. Yeah. What does it mean to you that you had a chance to come back? It was great. Um, not only coming back to the business was good. Um, Kane is a very forgiving community. Um, the people were amazing about me getting in trouble and then coming out. Um, I think a lot of people saw that I was making an effort to better myself um, and not make the same mistakes and do the same actions that I did. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I really got to say that Kane is great and has been great and I see it still being a great little town. Mm -hmm. So you feel like people, that people here have been able to see you as you are today rather than kind of hold in the yeah, image of your definitely. mistakes in the past. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That must mean a lot. Definitely. Cause there's no hard feelings between really anybody that mm -hmm. I talk to. Um, a lot of people that were affected I do talk to and we are pretty good with each other moved on yep yeah that's awesome so when you um, first started here and even once you got back into to work in here what was your job I was throwing garbage mm -hmm. um, whenever I have would have time off in school I'd throw garbage mm -hmm. and then after that um, we were talking about getting my CDL for quite a while and I just never really put forth the effort until I went up to uh, BTTI school and they helped me out a lot. Um, then I ended up getting my CDL back in, I think, March. Mm -hmm. March and, of this year. Yep, March 2019. Yeah. And then I've been, I kicked dad out of the truck, so now he's in the <laughs> office. So I've been taking care of a lot of driving, um, different routes that we have, taking care of the guys on the route, and then also, when we're done, I do a lot of the mechanics along with Sean and Cody will help us every now and then. So not only did you get a chance to come back, but you've really been moving up. Definitely. Growing in responsibility yeah. here. Yep. What does that mean for you to be working with your dad like this every day? I love it. We yeah. go at each other's throats sometimes, but in the <laughs> end, it's just us. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. stress out. Yeah, and what does it mean to you to have your son I mean, um, you were away for a while when he was young, but making up, like... Making up for missed time, really, that's what is the way I look like. at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he does take the brunt of all my anger. Every every bit of frustration comes out on him first. Yeah. And, well, he uh, gets it, I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> and touching back on the whole forgiving part, I had, um, when Levi did get in trouble, I had a lot of people reach out to me, you know, and um, just people from out of the blue tell me to keep my head up, tell Levi to keep his head up. So it meant a lot that some teachers, you know, business owners, even people who were affected by what he did, reached out and, you know, forgave him right away. Yeah, so, and you got a lot of encouragement in that process I did. too. And that must have felt really good to know that you were supported by the community. That was the best, you know, that was probably one of the best things that came out of what happened was the to see the 
community support, you know. Yeah. I mean, anybody can make a mistake, but it's just getting that second chance that... Yeah. That's why we do try to give people who've been in trouble a second chance. We have we have people from all walks of life working here. Yeah, I think that's awesome. It makes all the difference so. in the world when someone will give you that opportunity to show that they've changed, that they're different. Well, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> you know. um, so you guys um, have been making up for lost time between work and the way that you guys spend your time together outside of work. What are some of the ways that you enjoy life in Kane when you're not working? We go boating a lot. Um, we definitely like down the boat. Kinzu. Um, my favorite's going out to eat at all these good restaurants. <laughs> Supporting the community yep. that supports us. You know? <laughs> That's true. You know, all of our customers that do support us, we try to go there for dinner from time to time. Uh -huh. um, that was one of the things that we promised that we'd give back to the community. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So, boating, eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Anything Don't else? go down below my belly. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many That's, good restaurants. It's there true. Are. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, this is such a great story. I love hearing about second chances, especially when um, they work out. Like you yeah. just keep growing in responsibility, and yep. you just have to be so so proud. And um, what a great responsibility to have a family so, business. But you guys are you. all in. We are. <laughs> We're in it for the long haul. Uh huh. All right. Is there anything else that you wanted to say that we didn't get a chance to talk about? Um, I think that's pretty much it, right? That's pretty much it? I think so. Awesome. Well, great job. Thank you guys well, thank both you for so sharing. Much. So great to hear your story of why you love Kane and your experience here. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you feel really inspired by that story. I do see that Kane is a place where people do get second chances oftentimes. And so um, I hope that you've experienced that same sort of thing. If you have, if, you, if you've had the experience of receiving a second chance uh, sometime or with someone, a business or a friend or family member here in Kane, feel free to share it in the comments below. Um, we're all human and I love that we can connect on that level. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again tomorrow for day 44.